Uh, my next guest is a best-selling author, a uh, uh, very clever uh, woman, a uh, very good writer. I'm a bit intimidated by her. She wrote a book called The Glass Castle, and her latest book is called Half Broke Horses, which is about horses that are almost out of money. <laughs> How much have you got? 20 bucks. <laughs> 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 That's the stupidest joke I've ever done. Thanks, everybody. Uh, these books are in stores now, and they're doing very well. You should go and buy one before they run out. Please welcome the lovely Jeanette Walls, everybody. Jeanette Walls. Now, we've met before, of course. That's right. We you... met at the book fair in New York. You were on the panel. You were actually moderating the panel. I was moderating the panel because yes. I had a book out, and in order to be in the company of real <laughs> authors, my powerful publishers had put me on there as the kind of vulgar entertainer at the start. <laughs> and then I read, I read your book because you were going to be there, and it's really good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I remember because I said at the book fair, this is Jeanette, and her book's much better than mine. <laughs> and, <laughs> And everybody, uh, the, uh, the, the, my publisher was like, shut up, shut up. But that's, that's not entirely, your, your book was fabulous. It oh, really, you know, no, 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 I'm not just saying that. And I, I'm a big fan of memoirs. I think that memoirs get a little bit of a bum rap. People think we're out there trying to say, oh, these horrible things happened to me. Please feel sorry for me. And that's not it at all. And the reason I liked your memoir so much is it was really honest. And you really got, I mean, I, it's, you really told about this complicated person. No, no, I'm serious. It was, it, he used to be the little fat kid. He used to, no, 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 he used to be a little fat kid and, and like was, and was, and was bullied and stuff. And it just, it was, it was, in fact, I think some of the people who bullied you when, I, when you were a kid in Scotland are cousins of the kids who bullied me. Yes, in, they, <laughs> they went, they did. They emigrated and got started exactly, bullying you. Exactly, yeah. the suitors, the suitors, they used to bully us. Shooters? Yes. Not Ronnie Sophie Su Suter. No, Ro Ronnie Suter bullied you, right? Ronnie Suter. No, yeah. I had to change that name. That wasn't oh, his okay. real name. Okay. No, no. Oh, okay. No, yeah, I have to change his name because they said he might sue. I said, he's a criminal in Scotland. He's not going <laughs> to sue you. <laughs> like, no, change his name. Yeah. Did you have to do that in, in the Glass to, Castle? Yeah, a bunch of the names, yeah. 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 This yeah. is a very movie. You had a very, very difficult uh, early life, didn't you? I mean, well, with yeah. Um, I, sport, I aspired to being poor white trash. I was that low down. I was yeah, trying, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was hard. Well, you know, I, I tried to convince my mom one time to buy us, um, to get us tires so we could whitewash them and put them in the front yard and make things look a little nicer, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how did you end up in New York? Well, I know how you ended up in New York because I read the book. But the, uh, the, what does the glass castle mean? Well, um... We used to, you know, we were always doing the skedaddle. We were always sleeping in cars and sleeping in cardboard boxes and stuff. And my father, he said all that running around was temporary. One of these days he was going to build us a great big mansion. And he called it the Glass Castle. All he had to do was find gold. And then he would mm. build us the mansion. Yeah, there's, there wasn't a lot of gold around. <laughs> really, <is it? laughs> and then, because this, this, yeah. this is the book I... I, I, I um, I was with you in New York about the the, uh, the, the half broke horses about these poor horses that are almost out of cash. <laughs> Is that maybe the worst joke that's ever been done? No, uh, it's worse. <laughs> But the uh, but this is a it's a a novel. Yeah. But it's um uh, yeah. uh, about your grandmother, right? Right. Yeah. She was a horse breaking, gun toting, poker playing, moonshine selling school teacher. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and she was. She was. Yeah. Yeah. But I got the story all through my mom, and so I don't know how much of it is true, uh, and I wrote it in first person. So. Um, I called it. I called it a novel. But it's really. I mean, is yeah. th is there a big change in the publishing community because of the million little pieces and James Fry and yeah, that kind of thing? You know, I. I think that people look at it all a lot more closely. Yeah, I think uh. so. But. Yeah, it, 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 People are just interested in a good story. You know, I think so. I mean, it was yeah, funny because yeah. I remember yeah. I was doing my memoirs and they said that. Um, you know, my, uh, the editor would say, and "Now is this true?" Look, well, man, I was drunk. I don't know. <laughs> I think so. I think it's true. I said, well, how much did you actually drink? I'm like, I don't know. It's not Ooh, la, la. Weight Watchers. It's, it's alcoholism. It's, it is what I drank what I drank. You know. Uh, yeah. It, it, I mean, did they give you a hard time about that? No, they, no. They they went through and made me change the names and, and 
so that people wouldn't sue. And did you get very, did you find it a very emotionally taxing oh, thing? To, oh my to write gosh. It? Oh gosh. I was, I was crying. I'm not talking about pretty Hollywood tears. I'm snot slinging red nose and, and, uh, <laughs> and, but it was, it was, um, it was hugely cathartic. I really, once you're finished with it, somebody once told me, he said, uh, secrets are a little bit like vampires. They, they suck the life out of you, but they can exist only in the darkness. And once they're exposed to light, there's a moment of horror. Oh, and then, yes. poof, they lose their power. Yeah. That's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's old-fashioned vampires. Now vampires can, uh, you know, they've got six-pack yeah, abs, they're yeah. vegetarians, they're... <laughs> They don't, they don't actually even suck your blood. They just care about your feelings or something. I don't, I don't think that's a vampire, do you? Do you write a proper vampire book? Write about maybe, maybe one of your other... Maybe yeah. you could be a novelization about your, gra your great-grandfather who's a vampire. That's a good idea. I have, it's, I not, have no it's not a good idea. No, thank you, but it's not. See, you've written a couple of novels. I have no, no, one, no, no one. Yeah. I, I have no imagination. I can't make things. But what up. are you talking no, about? No. You did. No, no this no. is a fantastic no. book. I just filled in the gaps that I didn't know. I just, you know, I, I don't know whether much of it is true. That's why I called. It. I, I, you know. Well, that's all right though. That's no, that's writing no. fiction, isn't it? Well, that's why I call it fiction. But right. but it's not. It's not. It's just sort of taking what you know and just sort of plugging up the little holes. Yeah. Right. So it's more kind of what lawyering. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So what, what, we, what are you writing now, then? Are you continue to write memoirs? I'm trying to find another wacky family member to exploit. You know, I just... Uh, yeah. <laughs> have, you got, have you got many? It yeah. seems oh, like yeah. you have. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's funny. I thought writing a memoir is a bit like cleaning the garage. Yeah, it is. You know, that you clean it and you go, well, that's that done. And then you go back a couple of days later and go, now what the hell happened here? <laughs> and then you have to do it all over again. You can go forever. No, no. You know, a lot of memoirs do a bunch of memoirs. And I just sort of, I already sort of squeeze that spot. Bunch. What do you yeah. what do you read? Do you read that kind of thing, or do you read? I love it? memoirs. Yeah. 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 Whose memoirs are you uh, are you currently reading or recently read? Well, um, I love This Boy's Life by Tobias Wolf. I think that's wonderful. Right. I don't and know. And of course, that. well, of course, this. Um, Tell me about it. Um, it's just it's not all not that not that much happened. It was it was sort of low key. Right. Um, so the hard sell you're hitting me with, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Gotta read that. Not a lot happens and it's pretty low key. <laughs> of course, you know, there's, there's Angela's Ashes. Which oh, yeah, no, that's a fantastic book. Yeah, yeah Frank was here uh, Frank yeah, McCourt before yeah, he died. He's yeah. lovely, Frank McCourt. Yeah. Did you meet him? Oh, yeah, yeah, a number yeah. of times. And, you know, I just think it's a prime example of it. You can take a, a, you know, we all have our demons, right? We all got the oh, demons. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so you, yeah. the trick is you put a harness on them demons and put them to work for you. I like did. the way you talk, lady. <laughs> You talk pretty. <laughs> Put a harness on them, demons. I like it. I think it's fantastic. You should. You had me at harness, actually. <laughs> hey, um, I can't. I can't, uh, I can't recommend uh, these, both of these books highly enough, actually. I know that some of you who are watching the show are only watching it because you can't uh, find anything to read. So, um... <laughs> So there you go, problem solved. And, and I know many of you will have read the books, and, and to you I say, congratulations. <laughs> but they are, they're, they're very, very good. You're very, very clever and talented and, and a good writer. Well, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm amazed I actually like you. <laughs> thank you for coming to see The lovely Jeanette Walls, everybody. We'll be right back. I'll be back in uh, eight months. Uh, <laughs> can never get rid of him, can you? <laughs>